Hey, what's going on guys? So I got this question in my inbox yesterday asking how do you display SQL Server queries out in PyQt5? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to display uh, SQL Server queries out uh, with PyQt5 library in Python. So let's go ahead and open your Python editor. And before we begin, make sure you have the PyQt5 library installed. So here I'm going to import all the uh, packages that I need. So here I found the uh, pyqt5.qt sql uh, module and I'm going to import the qsql database class and also uh, the qsql query model and qsql query and from the pyqt5 widgets I'm going to input a table view in the application. So here I'm going to create my main module. And here I'm going to create my app instance. Oops, there's one more uh, module I forgot to import. The system module. And I want to provide argument. And here, let me open my SQL Server. So here, you can use the this select statement to get the, the server name. And right here is my server name. So I'm going to copy the server name. And I'm going to create a server name variable. And I also need to create a, a database a variable. It's your database name. So here you want to provide the database name that you want to uh, extract the data from. So here I'm going to use the AdventureWorks 2017 database in my uh, SQL Server environment. And if I log in with the username and password, so you can also create a username and password as well. And since I'm using a local server, so I'm not so usually I log in well using the username and password. So here I'm just going to leave these uh, two variables empty. And I'm going to create a function to uh, create my connection instance. So I'm going to call this function uh, create connection. And here I'm going to create a connection stream variable. So here I'm just going to copy paste the, uh, the variable for my for my notepad. And if you want, you can also uh, modify this function with the uh, server name and the database name parameter. But for me, since I'm, I'm trying to keep everything uh, easy to read, so I'm going to just leave that as this. And I'm going to, here I'm going to create a global uh, variable. I'm going to name the variable DB, and that's going to store the database instance. And here I'm going to create my uh, QSQL database ins uh, instance. So DB da is equals to uh, QSQL database da and da add database. And here for the driver type, so I'm using uh, ODBC. So the driver type name will be QODBC. And here let me uh, get the documentation. If you are using other database system like Oracle, MySQL, and even Microsoft Access, and these are the uh, the supported database uh, driver name. Now we need to set the database name. So set database name. We want to provide the connection string. And here I'm going to insert condition. So if the database uh, it's open. Oops. And I'm going to print a message to SQL Server successfully. And I'm going to return as true. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, print a message connection failed. And return false. 
right now so here we can say that I've create connection function returns to we can go ahead and provide a SQL statement so here let me uh, create a variable and this will be our SQL statement variable so here let me see so here I have a very simple uh, SQL statement so select everything from person that come to region table and here's the what the table looks like. So we have three columns, the country region code column and the name column and the modified date column. So very simple table and nothing else. And with uh, 238 rows of records. Now let me copy in this uh, SQL statement. I'm going to just replace, should replace the select with the SQL statement. Now we need to create a widget to display the data. So here I'm going to create a function called display data. And we're going to pass the SQL statement here within this uh, function. So here I'm going to print a message processing query. And we're going to create a, a QSQL query instance. So here we'll provide the DB uh, object variable, and we need to prepare the SQL statement. Oops, prepare. Uh, here we go. And followed by the SQL statement. And lastly, we need to execute uh, the query. Okay, now once the query is uh, executed, we need to create a model. So here, I'm going to create a QSQL query model uh, object variable. Oops. I'm going to pass the, uh, the query object. And here's where we're going to display the view using the QTable view uh, widget. And we'll set a model with the model object. And we send view. And the view uh, instance or object or this instance right here is going to re can return uh, the view of the single query result. So here, uh, I mean, let's finish the, the if statement. So here we can create a data view object variable. And here I'm going to use the display data function and providing the SQL statement. Oops. And we'll, lastly, we'll do data view dot show. And that's it. So here we'll do this the usual up dot exit. And here we'll uh, exit the system if uh, if we finish using the app. All right, now let's give it a try. So if I run this script, oops, then, oh, here's the, sorry. All right, so here uh, I got this here, uh, no module name, uh, pyqt.q widget. And let me just fix the issue real quick. And here should be qt.widgets. Now, if I, uh, let me save it around this, this again. So this time this light is running uh, successfully. So here's the, the, uh, the q table view widget. And if I expand my table, so here is the, the data. And if I scroll down all the way to the, the last record, and we'll get 238 records, and which match to what we have in SQL Server. All right, guys. So this is everything I'm going to show you in this video. Just a very simple exercise and showing you how to display the query result from SQL Server in PyQt5. If you guys found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. 
And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.